Good day folks, today I'm going to show you how to view report and dashboard in Power BI service. So let's get started. Open your web browser and head to www.powerbi.com. If you don't have a Power BI login yet, click on sign up free and follow the sign up wizard. Otherwise, click sign in, enter your email address and password. Now we are inside the Power BI web service. In the left hand side of the screen, there are several locations where you can open the report and dashboard. Favorites will show you the list of reports and dashboard where you mark as your favorites. You mark them as favorite when you need to frequently access it. Now, click on the report that you want to open. Recent will show you the list of recently opened reports and dashboards. Again, just click on the report to open it. Apps will show you the list of Power BI apps that you acquired. Power BI apps are a new way of sharing reports and dashboards and will replace content packs in the future according to Microsoft. They are created by community contributors or by your colleagues and shared to you. App can be configured to set a default landing page when you open it. This is normally set when you publishing when you are publishing the app. Click on preferred app and open the report. Shared with me will show you the report and dashboard shared to you by colleagues. Workspaces will show you the list of Power BI workspace that you have accessed with. On top is my workspace. This is your personal workspace where you can choose to deploy your Power BI report created using Power BI Tech Desktop. App workspaces contain reports, dashboards, workbooks, and datasets available for you to play with. Let's open Jira Service Desktop. Inside this app, you have separate tabs for dashboard reports, workbooks, and dataset. Let's open a report called Jira Maintenance Service Desk. Power BI report allows you to visualize your data in a more exciting way. A report is a collection of visualizations that appear together in one or more pages. A visualization, sometimes referred to as visual, is a visual representation of data, such as graph, chart, color-coded map, and other interesting things that you can create to represent your data visually. Each page contains tiles, which can represent a filter, single number, graph, and table. Power BI reports can be highly interactive. When you select a filter, bar, column, or other object, it can cross filter other visuals. When designing the report, you can configure the interactions between visuals. In this column graph, you have the option to drill down. If you want to see more detailed information, click on the drill down icon to activate, to activate the drill down functionality and click the column. In the same way, if you want to drill up, click on the drill up icon. Click the pin visual icon if you want to add this graph to an existing or new dashboard. Let's select new dashboard and name it as Jira Sample Dashboard. Later, I will show you how to view this dashboard and what other things you can do to it. Click on focus mode if you want to enlarge this graph. Click on back to report when finished viewing the report in focus mode. There are other options like export the data into CSV or Excel format. Show data, spotlight, and ways of sorting the columns. 
What else you can do in the report? In the file menu, you can make a copy of it by selecting Save As. You can print the report. You can publish it into a web if you want other people to view it. Be cautious when republishing your report to the web because all people can view the report once they knew the URL address of the published report. You can also embed the report to SharePoint online. Export to PowerPoint, which you can use for your PowerPoint presentation. You can also download the PBIX file, which you can open using Power BI desktop application for further development and enhancement. There is also option to change the viewing mode of report. You can select fit to page, fit to width, and return back to actual size. You can also edit this report in this Power BI service, but we are not going to do it this time and it will be a separate video. If you want to view the latest data from the underlying data set of the report, you can click on the refresh icon. You can also pin live the whole page in a dashboard. If you want to view the statistics of the report usage, click on usage metrics. View, re view related will show you the list of dashboards and data set where this report is associated to. Click on favorite I icon. We'll add this report in the favorite window. If you want to subscribe to this report, click on subscribe icon. And whenever this report gets refreshed, Power BI will send you email notification containing the snapshot of the refreshed report and the URL link to this report. There is also option to share this report to any user with Power BI Pro license within or outside your organization. Next, I will show you how to view a dashboard. You can view a dashboard from the app Workspace, shared to you or from your own workspace, which is called My Workspace. Let's first view the dashboard from your workspace. Click on My Workspace under Dashboard. Choose the desired dashboard to open. Now, let's open the dashboard from App Workspace. So what is a dashboard? A dashboard is a single page that uses visualization to show the important metrics for your answers. These visualizations are called tiles and are pinned to this dashboard from a single report or from multiple reports. When you click to a visual, the report where this visual came from will show you the associated report, dashboard, and data set. Set as featured dashboard and mark as favorite dashboard. You can also subscribe to this dashboard and share it to your colleagues, inside or outside your organization. You have the option to view this dashboard in phone layout as well. I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Camille on behalf of 4 IT signing off.